general relativity step by step. Last time I was talking about um, representing the same vector in different coordinate systems, and I had this sort of color-coded color -coded system. I think some of the uh, lines have disappeared. I'll stick them back in. There we go. So we had a red, a blue, and a green coordinate system. Uh, the the, the uh, blue one was rotated, and the green one was not even orthogonal. So we had different components of the same vector in different coordinate systems. So that's what I want to do conceptually. Um, and I'm going to do it formally with mathematics now. So there's my rule for covariant, sorry, there's my rule for, for, for transforming the basis vectors. Basis vectors, oops, I'm still in, uh, still in red. Black basis vectors. So I've got my vector v, and it's going to be equal to v1 e1 plus v2 e2 plus v3 e3 which equals v1 bar e1 bar plus v2 bar e2 bar plus v3 bar e3 bar. So this is what it looks like here in the unbarred coordinate system, and this one in the barred. And I want a relationship between these uh, quantities v1, v2, v3, and v1 bar, v2 bar, and v3 bar. So I'm just going to transform it. I'm going to say v1. I'm going to say v equals, and I'm just going to say it's v1 times e1, and I'm going to expand e1 according to this formula here. Sigma j, ej bar, di x bar j by di x i. Oh no, it's not an i, it's a 1, because here I'm going to use i equals 1 in that formula there, to recreate here e1, uh, e1 plus v2 times sigma, so it's v2 times e2, and I'm going to rewrite e2 in terms of the barred system, ej bar, that's a vector, di x j bar by di x2, because that's e2, plus v3, times e3. What's e3? It's sigma over j e j bar di x bar j by di x i. Oh, it's a bit of a, a bit of a mouthful, but we're going to rewrite it now. I'm going to say v equals sigma over i 1 to 3 because I've got 1, 2, 3 terms, so I'm going to have i going over 1, 2, 3. v i times Sigma over j, e j bar, di x bar j by di x i. And I'm going to put that in brackets as well. Now what I'm going to do is to rewrite this. I'm just going to shuffle various bits and pieces around. Maybe I'll do it, do it, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do it one, one bit by one bit. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that v i I'm going to take this VI, I'm going to pick it up and stick it here, just because I can. I, sigma over J, VI, and then I'm just going to copy the rest of it. E bar, di X bar J, di X I. There it is. Equals, sigma over J, sigma over I. I'm just going to copy the order, of, swap the order of summation around. It, swap the order of summation, v i e j bar di x bar j by di x i. And now I'm going to take this out and stick it there. Why? Just because I can't. You'll see why in a second. Sigma over j, e j bar sigma over i, and I'm going to put bracket here just because I can. What's left? Uh, sigma over i, v i, the ej is there, di x bar j by di x i. There it is. And that's equal to v. Now if I go back up here, I've got this decomposition for v. I'm going to write that out again. v is also equal to v1 bar e1 bar plus v2, oops, it's easy to get these things wrong v2 bar 
e2 bar plus v3 bar e3 bar. And I've got that here. I've got that here. Because here I can see, maybe I'll, maybe I'll, maybe I'll, I'll rewrite, I'll, I'll expand, I'll expand this summation here. I'll expand this summation here. So it's, the j equals 1 term is, e, oops, the j equals 1 term is e1 bar times sigma over i vi di x bar 1 by di x i plus e2 bar times sigma over i vi di x bar 2 by di x i plus e3 bar times sigma over i vi di x bar 3 by di x i. So in words what I've got is I've got two representations for the same object. Here is v1 bar times e1 bar plus v2 bar e2 bar plus v3 bar e3 bar and I've just got the same thing here. So it's clear to me that that thing there is by definition v1 bar. Why? Because v1 bar is the thing that you multiply e1 bar by to get v. That's a terrible sentence. To get v, you multiply e1 bar by something. What is that something? I've called it v1 bar, and it's this thing here. You multiply e2 bar by something, and that something is v2 bar, which is this thing in here. You multiply e3 bar by something, which is v3 bar, and that something is this thing here. So we can just equate the terms bit by bit. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do that. That says that v1 bar equals sigma over i vi di x bar 1 by di x i. Similarly, I'm going to move over here a bit. V Similarly, v2 bar equals sigma over i vi di x bar 2 by di x i. And similarly, the final one, which is v3 bar equals sigma over i. Oops, get carried away. vi di x bar 3 by di x i. And there it is. There's my transformation law. We've got 1 and a 1, 2 and a 2, 3 and a 3. I'm going to stop there before I make a mistake. It's easy to make mistakes in this. There's so many i's and j's and bars and unbars and I've, I've got this wrong dozens of times so i'm just going to stop there and i'll finish off this one in the next screencast stop